starting with a fast round. It's Heroic's T side now to begin. And they're not waiting, are they? Popping out of Hunt. It's going to be Tessas leading the charge. Grim, the anchor man, he's got two already. Swapping sides behind the CT vent. And the flank from Lobby is there to stop Stown in his tracks. That's where Heroic are right now, grounded, waiting for Kadia to come up the ladder. No one's considering it, Kadia. Oh, quick pop into the face of Fallen. Now into the back of the site. Elysia's got to hold strong, taking Grim's position, who's moved away, still behind the CT vent, still causing problems, not allowing Refresh to get involved, and Liquid want to bring the fight to them. Yeah, I love that reaction out of Liquid. Kadian now alone and low on HP as well. He's swung by Elise, who puts him in the grave. And Elise and Grim go on to give everything they've got in that A bomb site. Pistol round secured for Liquid, a good start guaranteed, perhaps. It's not easy to repel these fast A pushes out of Heroic. Many a team have tried and failed, but Liquid do it there. I love that reaction, as I was saying, when they're in the three on two, they see Kadian up in heaven, they go, oh, well, refresh this lobby alone. It's not uncommon where even if you're in like a, like a three on three, right? If you've lost outside, if you've lost heaven, you take that lobby position. Well, they force that one engagement in a three on one onto refresh and go on to close out the round. Yeah, it just stops you from getting dragged back and forth between players, right? Katie can just play with you on refresh's contact. They don't give them the option when you hunt down one of those two swing players, now heroic. Five on four, they've taken secret already. Katie re-peeks back in on a perfect timing to tag a liege, but Stewie has found his revenge on the stown going up the ladder. Now you're gonna miss timings here if you're Stewie, even if you jump silo, while well, they won't know, they're already up in heaven. I'm going to catch Shush, who's even holding for this play. So he goes all the way round to the side, and that spots the scout, knows what Heroic are up to right now, tells his team to watch that top site. It's going to be up to Grim. It always is. It always was. And now with that smoke down, he knows the plan is confirmed. So Heroic announcing it. They might do something else. Yeah, ramp instead, trying to split a lead at B. All he needs to do is win his 1v1, and even if he can't, there's a flank from T-Spawn, it's Stewie. Yeah, locking that killing gives you a good idea as to what was hoping to happen in this round. Fast vent drop, that's because the Liege has already secured this bit of real estate. Now, Kadian will best him in the head-to-head. -head. They are pressuring oh. Grim in a big way, but Refresh blinded in the corner. Now leaves it onto his teammates. This scout on Kadian is air so frustrating, oh. and it's coming in with kills. They can't seem to find it. They finally whittle him down. Tess says, though, given a chance, a fighting chance in the clutch. Naf has tapped the bomb, but Tess says is hiding, playing with nice. him, and goes on to steal that four spy away for Heroic. Wow, the door side swap as well. That was perfect, right? Very dangerous move, and if Naf opens the door there, you're just trapped behind it. It's perfect. Got a bit of cover to play with. Naf doesn't know where to look. And Liquid can't hunt that final frag. It's Heroic stealing a force by. It's exactly what Liquid did to them on the CT side of Overpass. Good flashbangs, at least for the retake. This scout not only found that opener, but continued to whittle players down across, you know, both bomb sites. Fast out A for Heroic. They knew the util's just not there, but the Deeks are. The Leech blind spams them down, fall and catches them. Midair, what's going on? Everyone's getting kills, but not Heroic. Grim saves the round. Two from the top of the hut, and I don't know how that has happened. That's a shoe in of a round. Yeah. That's no. why you just slip on your foot. Where you're, if you're heroic, there's no way you should be falling there. Dude, it, it, it's insane. I, and I love how much we're getting out of Grim early, right? Like, uh, heroic, they they love getting up in your face in this A bomb site. They love also trying to take, like, heaven and hell away from you when we get into, like, the rifle on rifle rounds. But Grim is such a solid A site anchor. This is such a terrifying guy to run into. Yeah. Getting this form out of him early. Ooh, it's a treat. Also, we saw there on the replay, both players out hot were running backwards to check hut roof. No one was even looking at Fallen at the back of the bomb site. Don't get me wrong, there was a roof player to worry about, but he was tasked with door. Now through the ramp smoke, flash is good. Naf just has to wait it out, but no one capitalizes. Naf's able to bite back a second time and do damage to Stown. Fallen's gonna give up ramp, let them go be if they want. Elise is even being chased down secret from outside, and he doesn't know about it either. Leech is so focused right now on this ramp push that just has to make noise and bait him in. And that's going to give room for Refresh to hunt. Telling his team to hold on. Yeah, this is big, man. As you say, like, Elysia's got no idea. A refresh has hit this perfect little timing go, window yeah. where he stopped considering the wrap. 
And this should be a guaranteed kill. There it is. The B site now falling into Heroic's hands and nothing that Liquid can really say or do about it. You know, you don't just want to write this one off and commit to a save right away. If this was a bit deeper into the half, I think you definitely would. But here, knowing they're not up against much, it's these Force by Wars. They wanted to give it at least a bit of a look in. Flash for Grim sets him up with one. It's a lot of damage, and still he's able to trade that out. So now you're well and truly invested. You're well and truly interested in this retake. There's an M4 that Fallen could grab, but he's elected to stay on the scout. Running in, he's dead to shush. And so Stewie, not a hope in hell now with this crossfire set up in the site so well established. Heroic, they'll oh, continue okay. these force by wars by him back down on Team Liquid to tie us up at two to two. Yeah, perfect round out of Heroic there to get that flank off. That's really the, the straw that breaks the camel's back there for Liquid. They're immediately thrown into an undoable retake, really, that they, like you said, got to go for. Heroic's positions alone are good enough, even with that spray in secret. I love the flash retake setups we're seeing for Liquid. Two flashes. Pop, uh, pop there on the corner and refresh. He hears the first come in. He dodges. What do you do when you dodge a flash? You immediately look back to see the player swinging you. That's when the second one pops. Catches you fully blind. It's happened twice now in secret. Okay, that's through squeaky. Alige never sees the outside player and it's coming in numbers. Heroic with smokes down, make it to secret. We're already seeing a very B focused heroic in these first four rounds all over the lower site. And hell, when they've gone A, it's not gone well for them, has it? The pistol round and the Deeg force for Liquid have stopped Heroic in their tracks. So at least adapting early here. This should be a freebie. This is an interesting uh, mini ramp hold. I'm curious to see how it pans out for Team Liquid. Oh, we're never gonna get to see because they've dismantled it right as that B play comes in. Okay, Naf, all right. <laughs> Just double thinks refresh and brushes him aside like it was always a Naf fly victory. Just a save out of the two remaining Deagles. I mean, hey, dude, you can kind of do whatever you want here. If you want to give it a look and if you want to try and get cheeky and take guns out, I, I think that's well and truly worth it at this point in time. And so Stewie is actually coming back. I wonder if it is with the goal of just trying to remove one of these weapons. Fight a ramp, and there's Grim to find a Deeg. Now, if Stewie could also deal with this outside player, that would have been swell. Instead, you've only removed this Mac 10 from play. But the guns are coming in for Team Liquid. They didn't continue the Force by Wars. They opted out of them. Bloody hell. Oh, maybe. Yeah, this is where if you're liquid, you've got to, you know, slap yourself in the face a little bit, remind yourself this is not uh, this is not over yet. So so Grim had money. Uh, Grim had a lot of money. He's dropped an AWP over to Fallen. And I, I want to get ahead of this, right? We had this fallen Elige outside Wombo combo. The duality between these two in the Fnatic game was a big part of the dominance that we saw. Now, obviously, it was a slow start for Fallen back on Overpass. So uh, curious to see if he's still going to maybe play a little safer here with the first AWP he gets to Don. But the outside work from these two was phenomenal. Oh. Might not come to matter as it's a vent drop for Heroic where three players get down. Elise is wrapping them through secret and Naf has already rotated in a ramp. And they are low from this cross. There's KD and Dead. Now they learn about the secret wrap. They stop the bomb plant because they don't want to plant with only one guy down on B. That would have been a round win for Liquid. But as a result, Tess says is now stuck in enemy lines in this B site. Oh. And they know he's here. They get him trapped. They get him pincered. Nothing he can do. And fall him while he oh. will miss that shot and give Shush something in the one on four. It should get traded. There's Stewie to make it happen. Yeah, that's actually a really nice rotate for Liquid. Just to note, that setup you were talking about, it came out immediately. Fallen, a lead crossed red. Fallen was outside with the AWP as well. And so that's why the rotates were so quick. Not only were they quick, it's nice that Liquid fully committed. I don't know how much info they got. This spray, I think, was Stewie with the FAMAS doing all this damage down to Rogue dropping Ven. Like, he was blind. He never really saw how many. But Liquid just throw all their bodies to the B site. I mean, not in that round, it was the perfect play. Uh, they just surround Heroic on lower, give them no room to work with. Saving the orb as well. Hadian keeping up the pace though, dropping a very quick. Grim flicks back to find the headshot. Good reaction. There's still a second layer on that main split though. Fallen's been dropped out upper. Shui's come in to take his position instead. And now that second main player attacks, draws Shui's shots in. Grim needs to do something impeccable right here, but it's only good for another. 
Now Heroic up by a man. They've got the bomb site, they've got the plant. Yeah, Lee's, you know, could look to rain some nades in, try soften them up, but I don't even know if you're considering attempting this round. You might just look for that AWP back in garage. Oh, yeah, that seals the deal there. Unless Naf is given something, Elige could flash him out or vice versa. Jumps, they're just playing with their food right now. He does flash, Elige is going to drop in. They're going for a full send, and the spray is almost there. Good trade through the smokes down. Stops Naf from crossing to the bomb site. That's where things would have gotten weird, right? You had to make that play because Naf could have stuck the bomb that was not planted for you. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, the, the AWP dropped back in Garrett's They're not out upper. But even so, Rogue explode into A. A site that has not been good to them, and they get out well. Right now, we're just getting trading rounds back and forth. No one has cleaned up the money. No one has you know, taken a convincing lead yet. This is still up for grabs, even though Liquid will breathe for a moment with an eco. It's only one short one, then they're coming back in with full guns. Oh my, and that's if they win this. Stewie, <laughs> trying to full send it again. Running into the lobby, falling up on the boost. There's a kill from the USP, and now he's armed with an AK. This is getting out of hand, Heroic. They should be able to regain some semblance of control here. That's what you were telling yourself, but it's still an even trade. It's not gotten any easier. They will now eliminate Naf, and so pressure's starting to get alleviated. Liquid almost attempted to pressure this bomb while they've got it trapped back in lobby, but with refresh coming in through main. Oh, oh that's what? the bomb, Elise! You cheeky devil! And now they just need to play around the package. Now they just need to play around this bomb. They're going to double up. They will not separate here. It is a trade game, and if you never give refresh a 1v1, how on earth is he meant to win this round? No clue on Fallen, but Fallen, legs might be open here above the ladder. We'll see if the angle comes back to bite him. Yes, it does. Refresh finds it. He knows the lead was in the lobby as well, but where has he gotten to? Same position, different motive, death. Looking to deal it, and the lead just got the round. Oh my goodness, Liquid, that was not a force buy. Stewie may have invested, no one else did. Elige, how did he hit that deeg to the back of lobby? They knew that player was there, but even then, that kill was a blinder. Even this, like Naf trading, and then yeah, he gets caught by the, the back lobby player, but he had to go. He was getting main split at the same time. What a perfect round out of Liquid. And even though Refresh gave it a go, he was ready for the recommit of Elige there, but not enough to save the day. 4 4, and now the eco goes back in Heroic's pocket. Yeah, Naf always has a pretty rough time at ramp. Ramp is a pretty rough position, and this round might be no exception. He gets flashed off the angle, has no choice but to concede. He's going to float around for a moment and takes one. At this point, Naf can be fully happy with the job he's done at ramp. Yeah, you've given them this little semblance of control, but rotations have been adjusted. He's now joined at this B bomb site by Stewie2K. They're holding for a hell wrap. They know that Heroic love to take this bit of real estate and Naf this could be a shooting gallery for the guy the org oh my god they're getting closer they're getting closer with each second they're wrapping him now oh. Naf tries his best tries his damnedest good for a double before all is said and oh. done and the bomb plant denied by that fast rotation of Stewie 2k yeah Kaden couldn't pick a side to plant on right like either way you don't have either door at that point in time Stan was trying to take it but it's open for both flustered are heroic no plant today and Stout just with a deep shot. He's taken a lead. Surely not much more. Unless Fallen stops to consider this flank. He's already on it. Oh, shot baited, but that's enough info for Liquid to give it up and play the bomb site. Stout goes through for a moment. But every one of Liquid is grouped up on B. Stout's not going to get given many more 1v1s. Oh, and he's running out of time as well. You know, even doing damage here is good. It's Down's book, but double swang on the peak. He does want to die while there's still time on the clock, so eventually he's just going to fully commit to this. Tried to get all he can out of it, but in the end, nothing more than one. And there is Team Liquid chaining together two in a row, only putting a stop to this kind of, you know, force by back and forth action. 
This is impressive, though, from Liquid. This is looking very well drilled. The rotations have been good. It feels like they're learning as well. With each of these rounds that go by, it's only getting cleaner. Yeah, and Heroic have been uh, adapting as well, right? They've tried a lot. They've run smokes. They've run A-rushes. They've done vent dives. They've done ramp on the eco. Speaking so they're trying to keep them, uh, you know, guessing. Never knowing where the next round's going. This one's up into A, though. Just a typical flash play. Does get Stewie fully blind, but Grim is good. He's going to get that info. Smoke down. Needs help right now. Grim's got a double. Bomb loose. Stewie holds strong. And there's no plant in this round either. Kadian's in another impossible clutch. And Fallen picks him through that smoke liquid. This A site has looked really good for them. And Heroic know that better than most. It's only going to keep sending you back outside. And you already prophesized the Elige Fallen setup. We've not really had to see it challenged yet on a gun round. Heroica found other ways to be, safer ways, perhaps. But eventually, they've got to try it out. Any DHL fans? Here it is. Oh, Fallen with the outside oh. cross. Kadian's wrapping him to try and trade this, and instead it's Elige dead. The double outside hole nice. that we talk about falls at the hands of Heroic. Fallen does what he can, but now they're set up in the garage. Do we 2K out by the AC vent? He is stuck fighting for this outside control, whether he wants to be here or not. Kadian posted up in garage. We'll be able to see him if he extends to, to peak this position. Stewie playing it by the numbers right now. Two out in that garage, and he doesn't know about them. As he crosses to heaven, oh. Kadian has seen it and removes that player from the outside angle. Grim will reclaim one of these kills out on A. It's not over yet, and Heroic have had to learn that the hard way more often than not. They're still sitting in garage, waiting to see if any more peaks come to them. They know that by waiting, they're putting pressure on Team Liquid to go for these info plays. It is a real tendency of Heroic to look for this hell control. It gives you a lot of options, right? You can split the A bomb site. You can completely divert and go towards ramp based on what you see. As they go up into heaven, the big question is, are they ready for Naf, who repositioned up here earlier after Stewie died? He's aiming high, refresh ducks low, we love that. The meta is to climb on the railing. Naf is not ready for the opposite of it, Grim. Alone on A. No, that Molly. Last tick spreads and burns him. He might drop the bomb, and not today. I don't think Shush would have been anywhere near as ready if that Molly hadn't come through. That is so unfortunate for Grim. Had the chance at a round there, stopping the bomb crossing through main. And this outside center start is strong, but Kadian wrapped back behind red and refresh jumped over the box as well. Elige was uh, you know, posted on main, thinking Fallen had his back, but there are just so many spots outside to watch. And Heroic, I love how they just, just throw the fastest smoke wall down, get in their face immediately. Fallen may get one, but no more. So that's one way of dealing with this Wombo combo. This time Elige has started lower. Those heroic might go back to what is at least netted than bomb plants, this B-bomb site. How will they get there, though? Got a couple of outside players. This lo looks like a main split into A very quickly. They're going to pop through the smokes, perhaps. And Lee, and Lee could disrupt this. it, yeah. He could be the fly in the ointment, the oh. wolf in sheep's clothing. But just a second too late is Elise on this wrap round. There he is with one. Is it ready for the second? Grim wow. traded as well. And just fallen left. It's been so back and forth. He's got to try and deliver, but they could just vent drop out of danger, and they will. They get past fallen. They hear that AWP ring out, and now they know he's on for the ramp rotation. Smoke on the right side. Now you've only got to worry about the left. And in comes fallen to his death. It's Tessas to tie the game up at 6 6. Sick round for Tessas uh, as well, dude. Like his, uh, his turn on that door player who hit in the smoke, I think it was Grim. As a leech comes through, and he gets dinked. Tessas takes down a leech. He 180s to find Grim, who just popped out of the smoke and killed his teammate. Here we see it. And then even closes the round as well. Also, the timings on that play for Heroic. You know, definitely been dry running that one. Definitely been pracking it. Everyone splitting at the right time. Even with that backstab for a leech, complicating matters. 6-6, six, six, and the money's been broken. This is where Heroic's experience on you, their T-side, really comes into play. Now they're starting to throw fakery at Liquid. Smokes down. Liquid don't know whether to believe them or not. How many players could have made it down B? None is the answer. Refresh is just hanging around in secret.
Now Liquid don't hear any footsteps from Garage to B. So if there are players down lower, they know it's a sneaky round for Heroic and the only loud players are the one on the top side. Heroic just trying to clear corners at least, draw enough players out of A that they can commit. Or if Refresh finds space at B, they'll meet him there through ramp. Only Naf in position to stop it. Yeah, and even though, you know, Liquid have been no stranger to winning these these crazy pistol rounds, this shouldn't be one of them, right? They only have this NAF defense at ramp. While Refresh is getting flanked on, they won't hit these timings. Now, they deal with Fallen in Hell. That might make them disconsider this position. NAF fly, good for one. There's Refresh holding for the rotations, and the plan has come together nicely for Heroic. Getting refresh in place ahead of time to stop those protocols from Team Liquid on the lower rotation. And even now, right, knowing you're only up against just one man, they're still keeping it very, very safe. Moving in together, not jumping the gun on this one. Still, we won't be able to stop that bomb plant. Acadian locks in the round. So, seven to six. The, uh, the guns gonna come back through now for Team Liquid. And this is their chance to salvage a half where they still win it out. If they lose this, Heroic are on their way to a 9-6 T-side. Yeah, that would be banging, right? Like, you know, we saw the CT comeback for Liquid on Overpass. It's going to be a lot harder to get that done on the T-side of this map. And the, the typical things that we've seen work for Liquid haven't really come through as much in this game. The Rogue's B takes have been lovely. The, the A rounds, not as much, right? Liquid have been holding really solid top, but... The one round we even saw fast outside play for Heroic, they won it as well. Fallen tries to get aggressive with a flash, but Heroic are so passive as they lay up smokes. Fallen's going to get the early warning, but there's not much he can do about it. And again, you're wondering how many, if any, are Heroic committing behind these smokes. They are going so late and so slow that Liquid might already have misinfo. Yeah, I mean, even if this wasn't your original intention to actually commit with these smokes, you kind of have to after seeing Fallen go so deep, right? You've thrown these smokes down, but you're still worried that he could be playing ahead of it. He could be getting this info that it's not the outside play. And so it sent three oh. into Elysia's arms. He's only good for the first, and now they're wrapping this A-bomb site again. Grim has given us some great moments moments anchoring down uh -oh. this site and he's got to do it once more he's got stewie to support him from heaven and even in the vent right now is fallen waiting for a drop down oh. Grim dies, but stewie out of heaven and into the site now looking to defend no fallen up through the vents has stripped them of yet another kill and that moves into lobby to execute the second man refresh down through vents is out of the a-bomb site and throwing into a 1v1 clutch versus naf baby these rounds go from 5v5 to 1-on-1 one immediately. Refresh hears the steps. He doubles back. He's going back up the vent. He's faking it. Naf doesn't know where to look, where to go. He's got to hunt this kill. Refresh is coming to him, though, and he'll win the 1v1. My goodness. It's so quick. Heroic. They keep you guessing all damn day. Eight rounds on the T side. Looking for that ninth, as you said. That was the harder of two. From an outside take into a main split, back down B, and almost the reconsider on Vent as well. It's got to hurt for Naf. But sick round out of Heroic. And they're building. They've got more to show. Last round here should be free in comparison to that. Yeah, Refresh is running it outside. Confidence brimming on this guy, and with good Ooh. reason. Tess has taken main away early and outside has been well and truly lost now. Liquid, the CT setup thrown into disarray. Stown's holding for any sort of lobby re-aggression. You know, we say it a lot when you see these outside smokes come in, when you lose this outside control, not uncommon to see A players re-aggress into the lobby. Stown with that. Hell smoke to try and get these boys across outside. Uh -oh. Now, Naf is waiting back in the garage, but he's missed his window of opportunity to spot them crossing at red. Oh. Now he's seen the boost. That's Kadian dealt with. He knows someone had to put them there. Stewie's just seen two of them heading into secret. He doesn't know about this third man that's already down here in refresh, but he's just heard the glass break. Now he knows. Uh -oh. Waiting in vent. That Molly forces oh. him out, but they don't hold for it. They don't believe. A lot of follow up damage. Refresh going deep as at least left this in a two-on-two. Two. He's trying to go further. Doesn't want to leave his teammate to fight this alone back in the site. A double ramp retake for Team Liquid. 
couple of flashes. That's all you've got on the side of Heroics. So you've got nothing to slow this down. You've just got to win your fights. Refresh close. Ten off the one. And Grimm's going to double up. Team Liquid, they steal it away to Hot Roof and try have a whale of a time. Yeah, we've had back and forth forced by rounds in the first half here as well. So Pistol, not to say it means nothing, but you've got to keep it up. You've got to convert. Lots of utility for Liquid. They've got quite the game plan in this one. Let's see what it is. A execute, I can only presume. That's all that would require this much util. Main smoke as well. Goes in over the top to cut off a rotate. It's just to go on the outside of main. In fact, over the roof, Elise just lurking with it. Stow now, top heart, perfect position. They're already outdoor, though. He's not going to see them yet. Elise runs through his own smoke, and Stow falls into the meat grinder, dead after one. Grim, as good as he is at anchoring A, he can open it up as well. Bomb planted, heroic, a man down with no kit, in for a very difficult retake. Yeah, they're gonna have a bad time. You gotta decoy on Tessas. You could try use that as a fake flash. You know, it worked once before. So here he is lining that up. In with it. Another decoy, and they Whoa. do fall for it. But Grim, not one to look away from the flash. He uses here to try and hold okay. the line. It is slowly but surely falling apart. Whoa. Oh no! And now Elise dead, fallen. 1v2, bomb planted no for time. him, and they don't have time. They don't have those kits. It's the lack of kit that comes back to her heroic. And to Team Liquid, win that pistol round to time. Yeah, Kadian bought the jewelies for Stown to, to buy up armor with them, right? And you would have loved to see a kit alongside them. We've got 400 spare, so, you know, there was an option there. He went for a smoke instead, didn't see where it really came into play, but not the end of the world, at least. However, a pistol round, would have loved that in your pocket. Liquid won it on the CT side. Heroic won their own force, and we all know how that went back and forth for a bit. So Heroic are still going to try and do their best. CT side, Nuke always going to be force buying here. Never a reason not to. Eeks out, and Kadian with a scout. Liquid, though, they want to put distance between themselves and these pocket cannons. They're going right down to B. Smoke's outside. Only one player running, and I like this. The rest of Liquid walk right now for Heroic. As far as they're concerned, it's just a single-man offensive. They're about to realize pretty quickly that that's not the case. Two CTs already set up on a crossfire. And the bulk of Liquid here. Yeah, they've not lent lightly into this uh, B commit. Tessas draws the attention in. Let's refresh. Spring out uh -oh. for a double. It's getting out of hand what? as the Deagles come through with kills. Oh my, oh. Naf, one on three in the blink of an eye, refreshes Deagle, something to marvel at as he just wiped the slate clean. Ooh. Naf doing what he can, doing what they need him to do, but with guns now retrieved, his job gets that much harder. And there he is, double swung, heroic. The second half starts the same way the first one did, with these force by wars to begin. Yeah, and it's, you know, both halves have done on now, so very impressive stuff out of Refresh. He has been the, uh, the highlight player in the series for Heroic, without a doubt. Absolutely carried them through some rounds on the CT side of Overpass as well. You can see the hype coming back to Heroic, starting to believe again they've got nothing else to do. Lead snuck under the nose of Liquid. And now pistols for them, but it's not going to be as easy, I can tell you that much. Yeah, a rush to try and steal one away. In comes oh. Fallen with the opener. Oh, 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 shotgun, no. Nope. Good for a double. Oh. Elise, she burns out. Stout, and there's Stewie to secure it with the P2. A three on two, but everyone's no wounded. Everyone's low. Oh. Nathalie, the only guy with health to spare. And two players trapped in the site trying to deny oh. this rap from Tessas. The flash makes it awkward. Naf just cannot afford to die here. The longer you can go without returning that advantage, the better. They've seen him pushing the main smoke, oh. so he's going to try to get out of there. But this is getting weird. It's getting crazy. Naf. Oh, Elise wins that fight to Tessas at seven points of health. Kadian's got to do it alone, and oh, they just won't no. give him the fights. They're playing with him once again. Not a kit. Kadian will strike one away. The kit's out in the open. He's got to swing for it, and Naf playing it to oh. time. Back out of there again. On the bomb for Kadian, it was always going to be close anyway, and there's Naf to steal it from Heroic. Unbelievable. Naf is the movement boy of that round, to say the very least. His misinfo for that, from that main push as well is so annoying. Heaven player spots him, go through the smoke in the main. They're calling, watch out, you're getting rushed. Naf peels back out immediately. He's jumping in and out of the doorway. You know, if he loses that fight right there to Kadian, he has time for the stick with the kit. So there was, uh, there was still ways back in for Heroic but Naf does not let that happen.
incredible round out of Liquid. As hey, you can see how much Liquid want this. Yeah. Every one of these Force Buys not ever going uh, unpunished, right? They come back through, they win it right away. It goes both ways, though. We've got a reinvestment for Heroic. They always will do this. Keep it going until there's two in a row for either team and Heroic. They want to be that team. A heavy setup outside. A lot of bodies here. And even though Elise dealt with one, he's Ooh. not ready for even more to emerge. Still two M4s in this round. That's a crazy thing. This buy is actually really good for Heroic. And not so much for Liquid, who, you know, everyone died last round. So no one got out with anything. Oh, the pre-rotate. Heroic have been good at this, right? Dropping lower like they did in that second round. Liquid are all here right now, coming from ramp. Three CTs in, or now four in the B-bomb site. It's going to get harder before it gets easier. Liquid have to fight their way through. Oh, but they get the double window set up. Both players from control room dealt with in an instant. I thought that double setup was going to be the end of the round, mate. You know, you have the Deagle swinging first. The M4 is a nasty surprise, but they were ready for both players. And so Kadian and Stown are left saving. Team Liquid, they take two in a row. You've got these rifles still in play if you're heroic. That's going to really be it for you in this follow-up round. You're hoping that Kadian or Stown can go huge. Also, Kadian didn't have armor coming into this one, so he's going to have to reinvest into that, even though the rest of his team going to be uh, eco in and out around him. Yeah, this is like worst-case scenario for heroic now, because even though you, know, you have to go for that buy, you have to keep the force by wars going until you lose it, and even though you get away with guns, which you could, you know, like... At the end of the day, it's still an opportunity to win a round with that, but it, you just got to delay and delay your gun rounds, giving Liquid more momentum, giving them, you know, further steps to the finish line. And they're bringing their scissors to cut it, man. Liquid full rifles, heroic. Yeah, like, wonder, do they buy Kevlar on someone? Kadian's going to go for it, and that means he full buys. Util as well. I'm not even against it, right? It just further delays your AWP, though, doesn't it? Swings and roundabouts. You win some, you lose most. 10 to 9, it's liquid time. Yeah, once again, heavy set towards outside for liquid. They want to try and take this away. They're holding for a lobby push, worried that, you know, with so little to play with, they might get some aggression out of heroic here. If You're you hoping that these rifles can get away with murder. Yeah, well, I was going to say, if you don't play to win with your rifles, you need to play to save, right? Like, especially on KD and more so than, than Stown here. So you've got to be sending those pistols in first. And they're doing that. They're trying to trade these guys out of the hut. That might get caught. He's being attracted in by the door player. There's the swing through lobby. He has no idea. But he does catch the rifle first. Bye-bye. Oh, fallen, dropping down. Is he ready for the USP? Both oh. low. And refresh locks in that kill. Now a 1v1 versus Elise. They're both he tagged knows. up. You were not meant to win this. And yet here's refresh making it happen before our very eyes. Another multi-kill round, perhaps. Elise with the swing, and the <laughs> Deagle is there to close it. These teams just don't know when to stop. That was mostly USPs around those two sec nine Galils. It's ugly at best, and Cadian's even got his orb. Yeah, we don't have any head armor for Heroic. What could go wrong? And so these Galils are going to hit like AKs. All right. That certainly gives you a little more to go off if you're Team Liquid. Also, we were saying Kadian wouldn't see his AWP for a while. And I was assuming he was going to lose that last round. Well, coming in with the victory, he's got it here in round 21. A flash is raining in. Just a upper hit from Team Liquid. They don't check the rafters. And so Shush Ooh. is allowed to get away with the opener. Naf's in, but no one else is there to trade this. No one else there to follow up. Refresh still at the top of her, being elusive. Helped out by this T-Vent player. It's all eyes on a liege, and even though he's good for the first two, it's still Kadian left to get past, and he won't let you in. That AWP comes in clutch. Woo. Yeah, Stewie tried to reset as well, because the is probably calling. I have timing. Wait for me. I'm walking the main smoke. Elise has done that a lot on this T side. Even in the pistol, he dropped the main smoke from outside and ran through it. Right there, Stewie tries to reset. Kadian catches him backing up, and then he closes after Elise is near clutch. Again, it's not pretty, but when have these rounds in this map been pretty? And Liquid rebuy. They've gone back in. They know the damage they've done is so horrendous to the heroic economy. If they lose this, though, the hole gets dug deeper. Oh my goodness, very risky investment for Liquid.
And Refresh has already started strong. He's dropped a Legion lobby. You know these outside smokes are not a fake now. You know they're going to hear. Oh, they tried to chase down Stown in the vents, but it ends up oh! being their undoing. Stown locks down vents and puts a stop to any danger this four spy represented. It might be a flawless round for Heroic. One hell of a return to four. <laughs> Stewie dead going up the ladder. Three there. All five stay alive for Heroic, and that is a disaster. The only reason you attempted with the force was this idea of keeping Heroic on the back foot. It was high risk, high reward. And unfortunately, you get none of that, and now Heroic is set up nicely to start to build oh, into this CT side. Just impeccable pre-fire out of Stan. They were even swapping the orb there, man. Oh, dear. Timing could have been problematic, but not for Heroic. And yeah, this is going to skyrocket them to first place now. 12-10, the biggest gap we've seen all half, right, with these traded rounds. It's Cadian's orb. Don't lose to Deagles now. That wouldn't be fun. Nades go over the top, Liquid fall onto roof, and they try and hunt down these yard players. Stands out in the open, but he doesn't mind taking two with him. Cadian follows up to Stewie. Now the ramp walks, smoke. Tessis is going to hear it hopping out. There's one trade, but you are desperate if you think this round is anything but done. As good as Grim has been, heroic are surrounding him. Yeah, this double ramp, uh, double lobby setup is disgusting, mate. You, you don't win this, Grim. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> On the swing, dead to the MP9, 13 to 10. And now, well, now the guns are coming through. But if you're a Liquid fan here, this is the round where they've got to pick it up again. We've got to have one of those responses out of Liquid that they've been so keen to offer up throughout the rest of this series. But it's not... Field the T-side or and Kadian not slowing down since he's had his. This is everything for Liquid. This buy will bust them if they lose it. Yeah, this, this is essentially the map right now. <laughs> so a lot of pressure on Liquid as they head into this one. Not how you want it to start. Fallen tagged up, oh. and Kadian to Hello. secure not one, but two openers. With that, the bomb cut loose in secret. They try to get players across to recover it. And even though Grimm's hit this nice little ramp timing, Cadian's been made aware of a potential that players could have snuck in. They could be on this wrap round now that they've seen Naf. That's only going to solidify it for Cadian. And he doesn't need to give you this fight either. He can just back off and play around the bomb. Cadian has done his work as far as he's concerned. Yeah, he's just got the bomb. He even smoked that molly, so Liquid don't know what side he's on. They're going to check it out the hard way. Grim hunting the kill, but even if he gets to Cadian, there's a second deeper player in secret of refresh. And this is not a guy you want to tangle with. Ramp flanks in, Naf's running, starts with all the info and all the reason to win that fight, but he can't. 40 seconds, are you calling the save or are you running the rotate round a secret? That would take too long. Liquid know it themselves. If they want to win this round, they've got to go into the belly of the beast. In they go. Undeterred by Cadian's orb, they're going to smoke it off. Ooh. Running out of time, that's your problem here. You know, just need oh. the kills. You need to get that bomb as well. And with just 15 left on the clock, Refresh will steal it away, putting Heroic onto 14 and leaving Team Liquid with nothing in their bank accounts, nothing left to fall back on here. There's no stopping Heroic now. Yeah, KD is no stranger to playing the long game on Nuke as well, so he's here. Showing up in that second half, massive impact on this AWP in the rounds he's had it, the A1v2 as well. Or 1v1, oh I guess, 2k. And then the lockdown on lower, Liquid half by, they're playing for overtime. It's their best bet, right? These pistol forces have not been as good to Liquid on the T side as they were at the first. But here they go, right out A. How do you dodge the death there? No, no! you don't. That kills his teammate. Grim somehow survived Refresh's spray, but he couldn't get down the vent. Cadian, right place, right time, and he's got all the shots to show for it. Receipts at the door. Cadian with two. Can't find the third. Hunted down as a leech baited from range. And now Gun's given over to Liquid to try and get weird. Yeah, with an AWP in play, it, it does make this a lot more scary, right? If there was one gun you didn't want to put into the hands of this two on four, it is this AWP. Still, he would love a chance at a freebie and then just to back out. Oh, if he waits here, he might get given the peak. And now he knows. Oh, no. That's only half the battle, though. And Tess says he was not expecting a re-peak there. You're expecting Tess says to play it safe, to not give that kill over. It's the confidence that comes as a surprise and strips them 
of this two on four chance. Elise, oh. <laughs> while he will get that one kill, it's only a small step into building up a one on four. One man down on this B site. The other two have taken Lobby and Hell, so they're securing the rotations. Elise isn't looking to leave, though. He's looking to plow right through the middle into this B bomb site. Smoke for the plant, and he's just thinking about money. Tap the bomb, and now he's out of there checking Decon. Isn't aware that Stown has already crossed in. Now he is. Now the jig is up. Stown dead. Elise can't follow up on Tashush. And so it's a damn good try at the one on four, yeah. but it was never much to go on for Team Liquid those, there. Those are always the worst, like planting on this map, especially on the B bomb site, where you, where you, you know, wish you stuck it the first time around. Like Elise has no reason to know that that door is clear. He's got to fake it for info to at least find out. But sticking it is, is his only way to win the round, or at least put himself in a position to do so. But then, you know, most times you stick it and they'll swing the door and take you down. So it's, uh, you know, you lose either way. That was never meant to be around for Liquid. This, however, needs to be as Heroic have pulled a incredible streak of rounds, six in a row, to keep this game going, to send us to Inferno as a decider. The series is still up for grabs. Heroic trying to get us there with ease. And they can dodge danger. They can avoid overtime and everything that comes with it just by getting this one little round. Kadian starting lower yeah. again. He's always so frustrating with yeah. these lower pushes, man. It'll always be good for something at least, it feels like. As oh. Elise goes across, he's got to be ready for the big man, Kadian. Oh, no. oh, Elise goes up and over. And that's the orb brushed aside. You haven't had many of these. You haven't had many untraded five on fours out of the gate. Now they just need to hold, knowing oh. Heroic will be feeling pressure, but that's the bomb. That's a bit of a disaster. Luckily enough, Grim and Elise come through with a kill apiece. Keeping this in Team Liquid's pocket. Refresh dead on that swing. And so it's left to Tessas. Now they might not expect him in at this upper site. Still playing default. Timing is everything here. You've got to peek in together. You can't give Tessas too many 1v1s. Elise isn't even considering oh. it. And so there's the first for Tessas. This is not how you want this to fall apart. Stewie tries to hold the flag and he will lock that in. It's a damn good thing he wins that because otherwise Naf is left in another one of those clutches. Yeah, they were not considering that position at all, right? If, if Naf is a little closer, a little more out in the open, maybe, uh, you know, Tessas is able to get that kill and stop him escaping down Ben. He was even ready for Stewie holding him off in the hut as well. Just couldn't hit the shot. It's a tight angle. Refresh tries his best, but his team was just falling around him. He felt like he had to re-aggress into lobby. Lost outside, lost secret, and picks through door as well. Liquid had the ball. Nice try from Refresh, but Liquid still long out this game for now. It's down in the back of Garage, covering these main splits. But Liquid sneak down to B, and this time we don't have KD in beginning here. Stewie's pre-fired, so he's at least given up the aim of the game, but it's only one man. You'd like to make Heroic believe it's more than that. Make them panic, rotate. Kadian's coming for ramp. That allows a rotate down lower if you want it, but it's also past with looking outside. Heroic trying to get a lot of info in Yard right now, and even though they get it, Elige is still here, unknown to them. Grim, careful, there's Norm there. Kadian sits in the Molotov, and they're so patient. Perfect read from Liquid to avoid peeking into the Orb, taking risks. Kadian's burnt down low, and Liquid have dropped lower. Yeah, they're a man down in the post plant, right? But they've at least got a free route to getting that bomb down. With Stewie already in the vents, and none of these doorways getting opened, right? You don't have that auditory cue that someone is in this position. That smoke's given it away, but it's at least held back the rotation. And Kadian doesn't want to vent drop and give over a 1v1 before the rest of his team are ready to go. They flash themselves through. Uh -oh. Stewie would have loved one there. Instead, they slip by, and now he hears the vent drop as well, faking his fall back to the site. Fallen lines up a kill. Meanwhile, at dark, he's got this crossfire set up, and Stewie's just making noise. Stewie's just wasting time while Fallen is hunting the kills. And that's the round for Team Liquid. Nothing that Heroic can do. They get a fired up Fallen in their face and take it off scalps. Stewie's even trying to hunt these guns. Oh, my goodness. That's all Stewie, though, in the post bomb, right? Like, good shot out of his team on B, but he stalls with that first smoke in secret. He's making noise in vent. Kadian, like you said, knows he can't drop. And then even when Stewie misses that shot, you think that might be the way in for Heroic as they cross towards double. He's re-aggressing. He's playing with door. He's shooting window. He's just keeping Heroic attentive enough 
for that bomb to tick away. 12 rounds for Liquid. Heroic feeling the burn now. Still got a few more opportunities and continued buys thanks to these saves. Cadian and Refresh, top of the team right now on Liquid into Legion Grim. And Legion again, the main lurker. Oh no, he couldn't even see him. Stout fired first. And sometimes that's what gives it up. The traces, the sound, it's all enough for a liege. Refresh tries to recommit, but as he smokes Fade, who's more open is the question. A liege tucks in the back of Garage. Shush is already scared of heaven. A liege could have made it so deep. Good grenade, but you'll never know about the effect it's had. They could have ready to split this A site on a moment's notice after that smoke. Yeah, but this is where Heroic are anticipating a split as well. That's, uh, once again, this, this Hell Smoke getting thrown over to try and give a liege a little more room outside. And you're hoping that with it, you can take heaven, you can take hell. Grim moving up into heaven. It will be this A split after all by the looks of things. The bomb going to hell is a nice little thing. Here it means that if you look into this site and you see too many players, you can just drop down to ramp and try to hit B late. Refresh. If there ever was a time to find this opener, it's now. Oh, are they changing their mind? They've seen a lot of utility, and I wonder if that has made them reconsider. They are going to go through hell to ramp. Now, the vet rotates open. That's because Tessez has been sat here since the start of the round, and Elige might have posted up in vent, but he has missed this oh, timing. Tessez. Him and Tessez trade places. Elige, oh, he's playing the trigger discipline. Elige with the turn, now getting pressured from both sides of the vent. He is in hot water. Elige, only good for one. A three on three, heroic. Are they going to give this one a go? They've got the kit on refresh. They've got a smoke as well. It feels like it's destined for them to try this round out to see what they can get away with. Liquid are entrenched. They've got these crossfires set up. Oh, Fallen dead oh. right away. Grim and Stewie brushed aside. And that there is Nuke going the way of Heroic. Wait. They, oh, okay. oh, my God. Yeah, they, yeah, they swapped yeah. it. But it's fine. It's fine. It does go the way <laughs> of Heroic.